charging problems with this bloody phone and my eyes are really itchy today I don't know what's caused this anyway uh, which way should I explain these I haven't seen the as they are known as lollipop lady like the crossing person for the school kids I haven't seen her out today so I presume it's the six week holiday thing throughout the summer with the kids off school for six weeks until September uh, and it's actually came to my mind I'm playing this Blink 182 song I've just I started playing a video and I'm just letting it get on with the whole autoplay thing it's really brought it back to me 20 years ago in 2001 that summer was I think the best time in my life I discovered so much music and from like Blink 182, Cradle of Phil, Marilyn Manson obviously AFI, A Fire Inside um, geez, 20 years ago. What a journey it's been over the last 20 years. Very interesting. Anyway, I'll shut up now and show you what I plan to do with this bike. This phone does not like me at all. This phone is a bloody nightmare. Just like every other Android phone that I've had in the past. Well, it's better than an iPhone in my experience. I've never owned one, but I know quite a few people that do use iPhones. And I've tried to use one, but I just can't get away with it. It's certainly not for me. I'm mainly using this phone for the camera. Uh, yeah, I was just outside. Uh, a very quick chat with my friend Barry. He's gone now. Um, he's like no longer out there. But he said, oh Steve, there's packages there for you. And I told him, yeah I know, I noticed when I left the building. I've just left them there for when I'm back. Seriously? This current app, which I use for radio stations, like worldwide radio stations. Well, that was a doing there. <laughs> um, that somewhat corroded my bloody phone. And it stops the camera from working quite often. Like quite often there is this issue. Anyway, let's get on with work on this bike. I was going to do a live stream today, but I have a lot of other things to do. So I'm going to leave the live stream until another time. Maybe tonight, but not very likely. It's stupid though because I've let so many people know that uh, I will be live streaming today using StreamYard but well this shit happens and I bloody hate Android phones now not as much as I disagree with iPhones but every Android phone that I've ever had has always had charging problems. Anyway, yeah, um, I'll, I'll be around. I want to work on this bike and stuff. I'm in the process of making that video. I'm going to speed it up and not a time lapse. It's like a fast forward thing. So, well, like I said, speed it up. Oh man, I shouldn't have stayed awake most of the night watching the band the offspring 
watching their live shows. Not live, live. Just like gigs they've done in various places in America. But yeah, The Offspring. Great band. You will see me soon enough. I'm now off to work on this bike. I've already removed the brake lever from here. I used the GT85 lubricant stuff. Just squirted it inside the grip and... Would that be called... Squiggled it off? Just... I yanked it off anyway. Uh, so the lever's off. I would like to invert the stem so that the bars are higher. That mark is just from the price by the way. $34.99 and Jamie sold it to me for only £30 for this bike so a fairly good deal. I'm going to get an adjustable spanner out of my drawer and get the brake caliper thing off. Uh, other things I want to do with this, uh, well I'll show you everything really. The chain is fairly loose already, so it looks like I can move this about another 5mm forwards, like that way. I wonder if a half link would work, if I buy one of those and... Hopefully that works. I would purchase a full half link chain, but for £22 something, I really don't want to put that much money into something that I'm just going to be basically cruising around on. I'm thinking about buying one though. Not the full chain, just the half link, which would be like an inner link there. And well, it's an inner link that will go into another inner link thing. It, if you know what a half link is, you know what I'm talking about. I just want as short a wheelbase as possible. A wheelbase, by the way, if you didn't know already, is the distance from the center of the front wheel to the rear wheel. I want to have the wheels a bit closer together and it will make it a lot more comfortable to ride I don't know where this bike has been stored but all this crap on it that's ridiculous and a lot of the spokes are loose that is way too loose I may require a spoke key for the nipples um, just tighten everything up but keep the wheel running true if you don't know already, a wheel running true means that it's nice and smooth and straight when it's rotating. You might be curious about the drivetrain. It's 25.9 gearing. Obviously single speed. And I've just noticed this. Ah. Looks like the inner tube's coming through the tyre. That's not good. And I measured it by the way. The top tube is 20.5 inch. Now you know. I used to have loads of tools but I sold them on when I had a pit bike, like a motorbike. Uh, I just sold that with the tools. So I'm just stuck to basics right now. I need to rebuild the toolkit. I wouldn't mind having my bars, like handlebars, a bit further back, but if I'm going to take the stem off, like invert it so the bars are higher, invert it basically means just like flip it over. Then I can adjust the position of the bars when I do that. When I have, I think it's a 6mm Allen key or hex key. Bit at a time, there's absolutely no rush. 
I'll get up riding this at some point. If you wonder what I'm watching, it's just what culture? Horror. Just something to play in the background. This part is for Lee. Anfield Road layout in the loft. This is certainly not a Mafia Bikes logo. It looks like um, premium, premium bike company on the tyres because of that sort of, like the double P logo, how they have a P on the left and the right. I'm pretty sure this is actually an old premium bike from 2010, according to the bottom bracket. I highly doubt you can see it on there, but... It does have the numbers 2010 on it, so... Oh, where am I going? There. <laughs> so I think it's an old premium bike. Premium bike company. I would change the sprocket to one of these bash guard things. Because they look bloody awesome. God looks so small to me. <laughs> on the screen of this phone anyway. Just 25 teeth, but... Uh, yeah, the bash guard sprockets, I love how they look and how it covers the chain, but I'm just going to stick with this sprocket for the time being. Especially how these bash guard type of sprockets cost £55 something, it's not something that I want to put money into. Here's another part for... Anfield Road layout in the loft forward slash Lee Lee you asked about the brake lugs these are like welded on not the type where you can screw them in like removable brake lugs but the bike came with the nuts one on each side so that's useful to actually still have them it's a pivotal seat as well, so you can dip it down or lift it up. Uh, very useful. I might raise the seat a bit. Phone's shutting down again.